Athletics. Let's get things started, ladies and gentlemen, with our first bout of the evening. Ten rounds in the super featherweight division. When the bell rings, a man in charge of the action, referee Marvin Elam. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black with green trim and weighing in at 126 pounds. His professional record is eight and five with two draws, one KO to his credit from Centerton, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, Kino Rodriguez. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the blue, trimmed with red and white, weighing in at 135 pounds. From Laredo, Texas, he brings a professional record of 38 and two, with one draw and one no decision, 28 of his 38 victories by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former Bantamweight champion of the world, Orlando Panizale. Gentlemen, you've been given instructions. Go to the dressing room, watch your blows, and watch your heads. Let's shake hands and have a good fight. All right, we are set to tee it up here. That is Orlando Canizales, the former IBF Bantamweight champion, once thought of as one of the best pound for pound fighters in boxing. May still be, despite his loss when he tried to move up to the junior featherweight division. And across the way, Kino Rodriguez will be his opponent, who, as uh, you already heard, comes in with a 8 5 two and one record or eight five and two record you can't have an eight five two and one record what would that one be do you think i don't well, know no decision <laughs> <laughs> two draws <laughs> you got it Dave. that's why you're here you know all this stuff this one is uh, scheduled for 10 rounds as you know and ken Azales, we talked about his weight literally three weight divisions up from where he uh, won his title that is a humongous jump. It's a good point that you make because if a fighter goes up two or three pounds down in the 118 pound range, it's considered a lot and they worry about their weight. This is more like walking around weight really for him before he would get down. Kino Rodriguez is a 31 year old from Arizona. And, uh, he has the one KO on his uh, record. That's what I was really referring to. Uh, so he's not a huge knockout puncher. Ken Azales, of course, can punch uh, 28 KOs in his 38 wins and as you know if you're a boxing fan he has been involved in some great great fights over the years and those 16 title defenses at a weight class almost unheard of today with the way fighters jump up to weight classes immediately try to get unification bounce and go right for the money but he became a force down there and we've seen it in the bantamweight division before jeff chandler was a force mm -hmm. before canizales and fighters at that weight class generally stay there and they can be identified there halfway through round one it is scheduled for 10. there is rodriguez getting trying to get a hook in it's been a bit of a reluctant start here for canizales he's waiting to plant one big one of course, so we mentioned the extra weight that would tend to make you a little more lethargic and maybe not moving and throwing as many combinations as you'd like. We mentioned a very small ring. That will have a big impact on the heavyweights, but in this bout, for these little guys, maybe not such a big impact. Canizel is starting to stalk a little better here as he's trying to zero in cut off the ring a little better and try to get right in front of Kino Rodriguez. There's the double left hook from Canizales. That's a weapon that you've seen him use many, many times. Nice right by Rodriguez and Canizales comes back with his own right. And Canizales dropped his left hand as he walked in the throwers right and he tasted a right hand coming in from Rodriguez. Let's see if he keeps his jab up higher now and his left hand up a little higher when he punches. Just seconds remaining here in round one. So the first round one in which Kino Rodriguez has to think, I didn't do too bad against the X champ. And that'll do it for round one. We sneak into Canizales' corner where one of the most able trainers in boxing, Jesse Reed, will do the talking along with Al Bolton. Let's go to Kino Rodriguez's corner. I was just kidding. Here we go. He gets his advice there. 
Well, Rodriguez has some moments here in the first round. Straight right hand after Canizales drops his left hand. Keeps on coming and follows a Canizales miss with the left hook you see being launched there. And Rodriguez finding out that Canizales is just like any other fighter when he drops his hands, which he did. And so Rodriguez got himself into the fight pretty well there. We head into round two. Orlando Canizales, the former IBF champion in the blue trunks and in the black and green it is Kino Rodriguez a 31 year old veteran who had himself a pretty good first round all things considered and the thing is we'll see how good of a round he had you know you want to jump on a guy like Canizales before he gets his total rhythm because if he finds it he will find it real quickly yes. very good point and we've seen fighters give him trouble early and you, you have to establish something with him I agree Dave one thing that Brown did do, though, is has made Rodriguez rather brave. And for better or worse, he is coming in. That could be a problem for him. Nice uppercut by Kino Rodriguez. We're in round two. Rodriguez is getting no opposition when he's starting to get his punches off. He's leaning in, he's looking, trying to find the opening. And he is getting his shot off. Canizel is not worried with it, with the power. That Rodriguez really doesn't have, so he's waiting for it, trying to counter in. Nice uppercut by Canizales, and there's the good hook to the body. People watching Canizales closely among the boxing community. In his last defense of his IBF title, he had a very tough fight against Sergio Reyes. Many thought he lost as Rodriguez lands a good right hand. Then he went up to face Wilfredo Vasquez and lost in his bid for the WBA Junior Featherweight title. S whispers in the boxing world that he's not quite what he was. It all takes us to one loss, and he was expected inside the community to beat Vasquez. You know, when a guy's been consistent for so long, too, the first little slippage, and people believe they've seen a trend, so he wants to stop the possible trend. And nowhere is that more prevalent than in the sport <laughs> of boxing, where if you lose one fight, people are asking you to retire. Good right by Canizale. So round two's been a very interesting round in which Orlando has been more aggressive, even though Kino Rodriguez has landed his share. Lose one round and you lose one fight and you retire. Lose two rounds in a row, you've got to think about it. <laughs> really? Under a minute left to go here in round two. What happens if we have a bad round? <laughs> we won't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not that we'll admit. Good right hand by Rodriguez. Rodriguez showing some pretty good ring generalship as he got Canizales moving around. Now he's down. There he goes for what might have been a left hand. His mouthpiece is out. It was tough to discern the one punch that did it. Counts at six. He's having a tough time getting up. He's not going to make it. He spent time looking at the mouthpiece. He lost a few seconds there. And it, the way he's blinking his eyes, he's reacting as if he caught that punch in the eye. Well, Orlando Canizales gets the knockout win here in round two. Ironically, in a round in which he was getting peppered with some pretty good right hands as well. He was, and he landed one good shot. And when we take another look at it, look at even now, Rodriguez is more concerned with his left eye. That's where it appeared he took that shot and really blew him out. Canizel is waiting, and there's a shot. Oh, yeah. Good shot right to the jaw. He's still standing. And then a delayed reaction knocked down that because I think it was a delayed reaction from the right to the jaw. Yes. If we look at it again, we'll see clearly. Oh, yeah. It takes a couple seconds. He's still fighting. It. Hey, wait a minute. This hurts. Yeah, and then th you mentioned the left eye. That jab came off the left eye, Dave, and I think that did some damage because uh, maybe the, the, the thumb area hit him in the eye. Right. There's the good right hand to the jaw. He's wobbling here, off balance. Good right hand behind the head again. Canizales wins it so quickly. We didn't get to see too much of him tonight in this new weight class. No, we didn't. I doubt that he wants to be 135 uh, for long. I'm sure he at least would like to get down to featherweight or junior featherweight. But uh, tonight he's at 135. Uh, manages to get a win against Granite, an opponent that was more of a journeyman. But Kino Rodriguez is up, and we're happy about that.
Michael Buffer is in the center of the ring. Let's go to him right now for the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Marvin Elam reaches the count of 10 at 2 minutes 42 seconds of round number two. The winner, former bantamweight champion of the world, Orlando Canizales. So Orlando Canizales gets his 39th win as a professional, and uh, he hopes makes a statement, Dave, to the boxing world that, uh, that he's still got some fight left in him. And sure